This machine is known as a centre lathe or metal lathe. It is used for precisely machining metal and some plastics to create cylindrical items like threaded bar and drill bits. The metal lathe has the following parts. Three isolator switches and one guard switch. The emergency stop button needs to be turned to the right or clockwise and the machine guard needs to be pulled down until a click is heard before the machine will start. The clutch power lever. Pull out and down to turn on and lift up back to the centre or middle of its travel to turn off. The three-jaw chuck must be turning in an anti-clockwise direction towards the operator in order for the tool to cut the material correctly. Pulling the power lever out and up will rotate the three-jaw chuck clockwise. This will mean the tools used on this lathe will not cut the material correctly and will therefore be ineffective and unsafe. In emergencies, the machine can also be stopped using the emergency stop button or emergency foot stop pedal, the headstock, which houses all of the gears for adjusting the speed of the lathe, the three-jaw chuck, which holds material securely for turning. A three-jaw chuck key is used to tighten the three-jaw chuck around the material, rotate clockwise or to the right in each of the ports to secure the material, to loosen and remove the material, rotate anti-clockwise or to the left. The three-jaw chuck key should never be left in the chuck and should always be removed and put in a safe place before starting. The tool post, this holds a variety of different tools for cutting and shaping the material that's in the three-jaw chuck. This machine has a quick change tool post. The tool post turns to the left or anti-clockwise to change between different tools. All tools used on the centre lathe should be set so that they cut through the centre axis of material being turned. The height of the tool can be adjusted with metal packing strips and checked against the revolving centre. The cross light. Rotate the wheel clockwise or to the right to move the tool post towards the chuck. Rotate the wheel anti-clockwise or to the left to move the tool post away from the chuck. The cross light moves the tool and tool post at right angles or perpendicular to the material in the three-jaw chuck. The compound slide. Rotate the wheel clockwise or to the right to move the tool post towards the chuck. Rotate the wheel anti-clockwise or to the left to move the tool post away from the chuck. The compound slide can be used to cut angled faces on the material or reduce the diameter of the material along its length. The apron wheel, which is used to move the carriage up and down the length of the lathe. The saddle along which the carriage and tailstock move. The tailstock which holds, amongst other things, the revolving centre and Jacob's chuck. Lift the tailstock locking handle up to loosen and push the tailstock locking handle down to tighten. Rotate the tailstock hand wheel to the right or clockwise to bring the quill out of the tailstock. Rotate anti-clockwise or to the left to bring the quill back into the tailstock. To provide accuracy when drilling, the quill has measurements marked along its length in millimetres and inches. This means holes can be cut to a precise depth when using the lathe. 